What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Ah, uh, hope you're all doing well. It has been forever since I made a video. I know, I'm sorry, but it has been ridiculously hectic. As you imagine, if you watched the last video, because a tree fell in the car, I've had to deal with insurance, I've had to deal with getting another car, uh, and things at home have been hectic, which has really cut down on video time. But, I got all that covered now, we got the insurance stuff figured out, and I bought a new daily driver. If you follow me on Instagram, SS underscore deuce, there was a little clip about getting a Grand National. Uh, that was supposed to be in the distant future, but uh, unfortunately, time restraints, money constraints. Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. But we need something comfortable. We need something that is fuel efficient. We need something that's big enough for the family. So without further ado, here is the new daily. What we have is a 2015 Nissan Altima 2.5 SV. It is big, it is comfortable, and it accommodates everyone and every need. If you haven't actually tried out a Nissan Altima, I highly encourage you do. Uh, they are extremely comfortable. The CVT transmission can be a little bit... Uh, uh, well, it takes some getting used to, to be honest. But it's a good looking car. And again, like I said, extremely comfortable. It's got a lot of chrome. That's part of the SV package. I'm not sure if I want to keep the chrome or black it out. Some S17 inch wheels, also part of the SV package. Again, not sure if I want to black them out or just leave the car alone. I do have to tint the windows because, well, let's face it, um, you got to have a car with tinted windows. The trunk. Dude. Trunk is huge. I mean, you could fit 17 dead bodies in here and uh, baby bag. That's gone full dad mode and I'm probably sure you can hear her crying at the moment. So let's go take care of that. As you can see, there is a ton of space in the back of this car. It's very soft touch material, very comfortable, nice chrome handles, nice aluminum trim. Now, my daughters will be accompanying me in this video. Say hi, Peach. Hi. <laughs> and this is Luna. Uh, I am six foot two. And that is my seating position all the way back and I can still get the seat in there without any problems or adjusting it, which is great. It is touching, but uh, that's fine. So we will close this, walk to this side, and my daughter Paige again. And you can see the amount of leg room there is for a lack of kicking the back seat, we'll say, because she tends to do that a lot. Bye Paige. Moving on to the front. Door panel has all your buttons. Automatic up down is driver side only. Your window locks, locks, your mirror. Again, all nice trim around here. Very spacious interior. All right, step in. Step in very nice. Close the door. The armrest is in a perfect position for just resting your arm while you're driving. You got this nice little handle that's farther forward to hold on to. I don't know. I find that very comfortable. And then you can just use your thumb to adjust the mirrors. It may be a minor detail, but it's pretty nice for as far as comfort is concerned. The interior is very nice. Everything is soft touch material. Everything's well padded all the way across the top. And uh, we have a push start here. Let's just start it up. Dash lights up. You get a little uh, animated vehicle there to welcome you. This is the 2.5 four cylinder. We'll go into that in a moment. But uh, I don't know. There's your auto dimming for your lights on the dash that work both day and night. I'm not sure if that's LED or what it is, but you can adjust the brightness accordingly. 
the center stack i really like the center stack it's got this nice gloss black going on here uh big screen well i guess i can't say big screen it's it's a big radio screen it's got a backup camera I'll show you that there you go got a nice backup camera you have automated dual climate controls you can adjust very nice turn it off for now get rid of that cup holders pretty standard feature everything has it this little cubby hole in front is I, I can't I didn't even realize how deep it was like I put my easy pass down here and I almost lost it because I didn't realize how deep that pocket went but you have your USB and uh, auxiliary ports along with a power outlet. Little cubby hole for your keys here. Lift up your center console. I have uh, my business cards in here. So you got a little stack there and you have a much, much deeper pocket here which uh, you can fit almost anything in. So we will move on to the glove box. You get to see all the crap I get to keep in here. Let me move this stuff so you can see just how deep that really is deep down there. I don't understand why they thought you would need such a large glove box, but if you do, you have it. We also have storage down in the door. Let me, let me just open the door. Whoa, that sun is too bright. We also have storage down in the door. Little cup holder, little pocket. Very nice. Steering wheel controls for your volume, your radio. This is your menu button for the dash. So we'll try to get both of them at the same time here. So you can see that changes. That's your tire pressure. For some reason, it doesn't display your tire pressure unless you're moving. I don't understand that part. But then you have your time driving, your average mile per gallon. Uh, you can select just to keep your radio on display. Uh, your average mile per gallon. I've done a lot of city driving, so it's... Uh, a little low uh, a whole bunch of settings which you know basic information oil changes change a lot of other things the I just leave the little animated car on there it's it's cute if you can see you have all your lights up here a uh, little sunglass holder it's a very comfortable car it's it, if you the seats are ridiculously soft i mean like it's like sitting on a bunch of down pillows this is probably the most comfortable car i've ever sat in so let's take a look under the hood this is nissan's 2.5 four cylinder it is 185 horsepower I believe the torque is right around the same. Don't quote me on that. I, for some reason, I forgot to look that up. Pretty sure it's the same though. It's a very torquey engine. Um, it does have the CVT transmission, and it's not the most refined CVT, so it takes a little getting used to. But once you do, it it scoots for a little four cylinder. It's definitely faster than the Honda Civic. I'll say that. So let's see how she drives. Again, it's a very comfortable car. Scoots up pretty good. You know, definitely has plenty of torque to get out of its own way, unlike the Civic I had. It's very comfortable. You guys will definitely not be disappointed if you check one out, which I highly encourage you to. Alright guys, so that is the new daily Nissan Altima. Let me know what you think. Um, would you black out all the chrome? Would you leave it alone? 
screw it i don't know it's too new right now i'm really just enjoying the car it's super super comfortable uh Paige, do you like the new car yes yeah well you got the approval of a three-year-old so i guess that that says something all right guys sorry it took so long to make the video leave your comments let me know subscribe if you haven't already hit that button hit that little bell there's gonna be lots to come i have going uh I'm gonna be making a lot more videos with the nova i have stuff going on with that so make sure you follow along and i will catch you next time